Welcome back to year 13. It is time for the college football playoffs for Cascade Valley. We have got a little bit of a doozy. <clears throat> Let me put chat up here. All right, cool. Now we're Gucci. Why does it do this blue text every once in a while? It's so weird. I'll glitch his own. Now, as a reminder, we still have three major guys we're looking to obviously land in the recruiting. We have landed a ton of people, 19 in total, but we're trying to get this class to 22. And in do so, we're going to have to wait until pretty much after the bowl season. <clears throat> I think we found out that he won this. Okay. I'm talking like you guys have seen this in the video, they'll have seen this, but if you watch the last stream of this, you saw this. Now, as you just saw, Tyrell Brown is the Heisman Trophy winner. A big shout out to him, winning for the second time in his career. Honestly, this dude has got a lot of accolades, right? We saw the 2025 Heisman just now. He's the 2023 one on the Walter Camp in 23, on the Walter Camp again in 25, the Doak Walker in 25 and 23. This dude, whenever he wins one of those awards, he wins it again. This dude is an absolute legend. You love to see it. All right, so we got him, and then I'll pause my recording because we have to open up this dynasty tool, which hopefully I don't need to update. I don't. Just kidding, I do. Okay. Latest version is 2.14. Um, save that. Close that. Bear with me one sec, chat. Favors for the GGBFL on 25. Wait, favors? You mean Brown? Tyro favors was the cheat code we had in uh, the game. He'll never come back to a Madden series we got. That dude was insane. All right, did the tool update? Oh, I need to actually go. Never mind. That was weird. Yes, replace it. Okay, close that. That was a weird chat. All right, one sec. I got to extract this bad boy. Okay, it actually pop up over here. Got to install it. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well. First, the Giants working on their blockbuster trade that could be done today. I wonder what it's going to be. My guess is a trade in the top three. Where did you see that, though, in Dramada? I personally haven't seen anything. I'm not saying you're not correct, but... I haven't seen anything uh, come across the feed yet. <clears throat> Gary Tyrell's mixed up. Yeah, Tyrell Brown will probably be in Madden 25. But maybe, maybe not. Because we're going to be importing draft classes. So, like, I don't know. <clears throat> Greg Rosenthal, that sounds familiar. I'm, like, not able to... Holy grass, where I remember that. Okay, in this task bar. Okay. All right, so now we've got a Cascade Valley. Uh, close that one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, season. This is the updated version. What do they have an off season? Okay, pretty much the same stuff. Okay, season, college football playoff. I'm still doing a 14 playoff. Uh, okay, so this one. Open Dynasty file. I click through 800 different folders here. It's at home. This one, save data. We are in. Yeah, this one, this file. Okay, actually, let me back out of the dynasty really quick just so I don't mess up anything. Okay. So it has, oh, us versus Michigan. Boise versus Navy. I think we're going to move Navy out of here. What is this? Oh, this shows me my conference champions. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Let, let's go back in the dynasty and look really quick. We got to we gotta replace Navy. Uh, Navy is just not high enough overall. Um... 
So let's see who should be in for Navy. One sec check. Um, okay, so Michigan makes sense. They beat USC. I think we put, U oh, USC comes in. <clears throat> USC is the other team. Michigan gets over them, even though they have one more loss because they just beat them. <clears throat> so USC is the team we put in here. Okay. I like that matchup. So it's CVU, Michigan, Boise State, USC, and then whoever wins that. I think that matchup makes a lot of sense. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, What is this? Oh, I could have literally seen the CFP rankings right here. Yeah, Nebraska is interesting, but like um, the Big Ten winner was Michigan. USC was number five. They only lost. Their only loss in the entire season was to the number four team in the nation. Nebraska, we looked at their schedule last time, didn't have as many. They didn't make it to their conference championship. So, yeah, we're going to. Uh, we're giving USC that one. Okay. All right, so that's locked. We hit that. All these are Gucci. We save it. All right, Dynasty has been saved. Okay. All right. Wait, YouTube chat working? I see you guys over there. I don't see nobody. Nobody's in chat. Is my chat broken? One way to find out. <clears throat> Move myself out and put Nebraska there. Interesting. No. <clears throat> Navy fans are pissed now. Let them be pissed. Let them be pissed. Okay, there we go. So it's fixed to play Michigan. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, so let's do. Now, from a college football playoff ranking standpoint, we're number one. Boise's number two. Navy, despite being 12 and 0, ends up getting bumped out. If we look at their schedule, you can kind of see why here. They be number 12 SMU, and they are going to end up playing number 20 Texas Tech University in the bowl game. But they didn't really have a very strong schedule. Yes, they beat SMU, who's a pretty solid team. But when you compare who we actually ended up putting in there above them, USC, USC won every single game, including beating number four Michigan in the beginning of the year. Their only loss was at the very end of the season against number four Michigan at the end of the season. Ignore the Clemson thing. That's not really going to be who they're playing. So we will see them in the national title picture. It'll be us versus Michigan. Uh, and then it'll be Boise versus USC. Should be an absolute blender of a game. <clears throat> Before we hop into the game, officially going through some of the All-Americans, we're going to see that Tyrell Brown gets the top half back on her for the All-Americans. Terry May also goes in for the number one center. Uh, Jesse Rivers, the first-time starter, gets it to the left end. Odiari, a right end. Jaron Poe, a defensive tackle. Keyshawn Anderson, a left outside linebacker. Heinrich, at the other left outside linebacker. Gamblin, a middle linebacker. Simmons, Wilson, Lanier, all going in. I love seeing that Michael Lanier uh, ends up getting a first-team All-American despite being injured for the last couple games this season. He'll never play again in Cascade Valley, but he was a legend. On the second team, Taylor Reed gets that spot, which you love to see. We see Jay uh, Bohm and Carnell Killens. I feel like one of those guys maybe could have made first team, but it is what it is. Uh, Savage gets it to the left guard. Wilson gets it to the right guard. We keep moving down here a little bit more. We're going to see that we have Chance around in the corner. We're going to have Reggie Kraft, surprise he made it personally, uh, at free safety despite all the missed tackles he had. And Evan Shepard, a punter, makes it on there as well. Wait. I will say I'm disappointed that they gave Joseph Hogan the opportunity to be the best kick returner in the nation, first team, and we don't even see Jay Bone be there for second team. The disrespect. On the freshman team, we keep kind of panning through this. Navy did have the top quarterback for the freshman team, but Charles Awara ends up being the number one center on the, uh, the all-freshman team. Uh, we're also going to see uh, a rare ghost walker, whose name I can never say, a defensive tackle. And that is going to be it for what our squad had from the freshman side. But I'm still really proud of how they played. Okay, pause that. Oh, we'll do a board winners too really quick. Is 
Is that why he wears number eight? Yeah, Lanier is a legend. And then the Maxwell Award actually doesn't go to Tyrell Brown or Taylor Reed. We see Tanner Hawthorne end up winning that award. It is what it is. We know who should have won that award. The Walter Camp goes to Tyrell Brown with Reed finishing six. The Bednarik, one through eight were Cascade Valley players. Nine was Western Kentucky, and then 10 was Jaron Post. So we had pretty much the nine out of the top 10. That's kind of insane. Uh, you move on to the Nagurski. It's very similar. Donald Gamblin brings that one home. The O'Brien goes to Hawth Hawthorne over Taylor Reed, which again, you know, 52 total touchdowns. I feel like he had more yards. It is what it is, but things happen. The Doak Walker goes to Tyrell Brown for the second time in his career. Uh, the Belitnikov goes to Naeem Johnson, which I wanted to be upset, but he had 27 touchdowns on 1,600 yards and 94 grabs. Carno Killens had a great year. It was not that great, so we understand. Uh, the Mackey is going to go to Harris out of Hawaii with McBride finishing third in his junior season. The Outland, we're going to see Zenon from Miami. Uh, the Remington goes to our guy, Terry Yamey, the center from Cascade Valley. Had nine pancakes this year, didn't give up a sack. The Lombardi goes to Odiari with Jesse Rivers and Jaron Poe being right behind him. The best linebacker, we had the top three guys, you already know, and Donald Gamblin winning it. The Thorpe goes to Desmond Simmons, the greatest corner in Cascade Valley history. Kind of wild to say with Lanier and Wilson behind him. The Groza, they put no respect on our name. And then the Ray Guy Award, Shepard, close to winning it for the first time in Cascade Valley history. The best returner for the first time in school history, Jay Bohm, ladies and gentlemen. He did that thing. Love to see Jay Bohm. Get some love. They're absolutely going to put in the same engine as Madden. It, you guys that are expecting a totally different football game, it will be very similar to Madden. One, it's football. Two, Madden 24 was a really good game. So. <clears throat> okay, I think we're Gucci. <clears throat> and then just from an injury standpoint, again, Lanier apparently is questionable to play in this game. So we could potentially see him play in this game. I highly doubt it, but it would be kind of cool if we got to see him play one last college football game. But go get your money in the NFL, big fella. <clears throat> okay. We've covered everything, so let's play the team of North. Uh, oh, wait, and then this is for three in a row or four in a row? I can't remember. This would be for four in a row, by the way. This would be for four in a row. Hmm. What a time. Do we wear the McMurvins? I think we wear the McMurvins. I would be shocked if they don't let us do that slim. I would be shocked. Yeah, I think we rock these. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we got, chat. If you guys are over on YouTube, make sure you hit that little like button. It helps out an absolute ton. Appreciate you guys being over there as well. Right. Um, I'm going to hide my screen and let's get into it. nasal drainage chat it's killing me all right let's get it let's get it i need some hype in here this is a big game for the first time in school history cascade valley is looking to get a four p they've won three national titles in a row can they win a fourth Bryce, it would be a big misstep if they didn't. I think we'll see you back. 
The first rush for Tyro Brown didn't go very well, but you got to imagine a lot of nerves right now are just matriculating around for both teams. A throw here for Tyro Brown to Michael Isaacs, and good news, he holds on to it. Desmond Ritter to the Cardinals. Kind of makes sense. Back here to the run game. Looking to be a little bit better than that first carry here. Tyro Brown got some room. Tyro Brown moves all the way down the field for a 22 yarder. Shout out to Joe McBride, absolutely laying some crazy blocks down the field, opening up those lanes. We're going to obviously miss him. We imagine he's gone after this season, but the dude has been a legend here in his time. Michigan's defense definitely struggling a little bit. Their offense has really been carrying this team so far. But Derek Johnson, though, only a two-yard rush. Underneath center, the sign for Reed. Sees a guy, throws a dot, and who else but Joe McBride getting into the end zone for the first touchdown of the college football playoffs. pressure in this Michigan team. They know they have a chance to win a national title, but they have to go through Cascade Valley first. The three-peat team trying to make it a four-peat. But unlike Michigan, this this is not going to get rescinded. They happen to mess up. What an interception. Are you kidding me? Ron, ooh, wait, my camera's on. Rondo Moore going to Atlanta in that deal. That's actually a really good pickup. Three back under center here. The squad absolutely vibing. Throws an absolute beautiful ball to Joe McBride for another big catch. Seeing the maturation from Reed right now, again, the best quarterback in Cascade Valley history, throwing an absolute beautiful ball to make sure that McBride got it and the linebacker couldn't touch it. London, Mooney, Moore, Pitts, and Bijan. Yeah, that's a really nice core. Second and seven here, sitting on a shotgun. Reed scrambling around, throws one, and it's a Jeremiah Butler for a two touchdown lead now. As you saw in that previous play, Tyro Brown, or excuse me, Taylor Reed is setting record after record. And there are his own records that he's breaking right now, getting the most passing yards in school history after another beautiful pass there. And oh my God, Owens is looking like T.O. out here with a huge run for Michigan down the field. Cardinals not trading for they want MHJ. Yeah, they, that trade solidifies they want MHJ. And they're kind of... A little worried about Kyler still, so they got an insurance policy. Michigan's been a little dreary, but now they got a good opportunity here. Going for a big run. DJ Byers and Gambling are not letting Harrison and Benda go anywhere. Did T. Higgins trade go through to Atlanta? No. Uh, Rondell Moore went to Atlanta in a Desmond Ritter trade. Keeping the pressure on. 
Craig's gonna throw one. He's got an absolute wide open Walker. We're gonna try to bring him down, and we do it the one, but Walker gets him all the most into the end zone. Right now, Michigan feels pretty good. They've got an opportunity. They're trying to strike. We send the presser. Craig gets his second completed pass of the game. This one, though, was going to be brought down for a loss of one. Second goal, Cascade Valley trying to make a nice goal line stand here. He gets him to Benda, and Dono Gamble is able to get to him after a big hit in the backfield. Cascade Valley obviously pretty hyped right now. He's trying their best to see if they can get to the running back. And a force of Sharpie is going to get in there in a three-yard touchdown run to cut this lead in half. Yeah, there's been no, uh, no, uh, T Higgins rumored trade. So, you know, grind in motion here. Back to the run game. It's been a really good staple this offense so far, and Brown continues to dominate. Uh, I think it will, Wombat. I think it will. There was a rumor that they were given stickers in the assets the teams were giving to the EA team, so. Well, second and one action here. Not a lot to love. Reeves going to hold back and throw one in. Olak is right there. I thought it was Clark. He's going to hold that one in. Our guys are going to bring them down in Michigan. All of a sudden, is back in scoring territory, and Reed can't believe it. Tough champ. A little pistol action. The quarterback goes to keep it, and DJ Byers is there to stop Craig. Cascade Valley again trying to get some pressure on this quarterback. He throws an absolute dot of a slant and his king picking up a 14-yarder. A lot of guys line up on that far right side. The pressure is there and DJ Byers gets in a drop Craig for the first sack of the game. Second and 17 here, Michigan again in field goal territory. So the worst situation they have right now, they still cut the lead. We're going to bring down a bend after a five yarding. Hey, Harrison, hopefully no more. Hopefully no more picks. Third and 12. They slide a tight end over in motion again. We got to be a little careful here. An absolute beautiful ball, and we force him out of bounds. Trent Anderson did not get the first down. Uh, Andromeda, the Falcons won't even have a shot to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. He's going forward to Arizona. Fourth and inches, Michigan's going to line up for a field goal. A great stop by Cascade Valley, giving up horrible field position for us, and then getting a stop to force a field goal. We'll take that every time. Reed has mostly looked good today, but that interception 
kind of unforgivable. We got to make sure that he keeps the ball secure. <laughs> You're good, Andromeda. I was like, unless that trade's a little different than I thought. Falcons probably go edge rusher, um, is what I imagine. Well, second and four, hitting him with the read. Or hitting him with the uh, the play action. And Taylor Reed getting himself a first down and then some. Back here to the run game. It's important that we are loyal to the run game today, but it's also important that our guys block. The Patriots drafting, uh, whatever quarterback is available. They signaled that as soon as they traded Mac Jones. We thought they were tra getting a quarterback, and then as soon as they traded Mac Jones, you're like, yeah, they're definitely going QB. Last play here, the first. Reed again finding the hottest target of the day. Joel McBride making NFL scouts drool right now. What's up, Tang? Dallas Turner. Yeah, I see Dallas Turner is probably who they go with. Second quarter kicking off. We're going right back to what we've been doing running the ball with Tyro Brown. NFL game day was a legit game. I miss it. What's up, Train? Johnson slides in motion here. A little play action. Reed again. Sees an opportunity. He says, if I like it, I'm going for it. Another first down on the ground for him. Cascade Valley in the red zone with an opportunity to cook and extend this lead yet again. Four point lead is solid, but it's not what we're looking for right now. Tyro Brown, great run, nearly gets out to the edge, but eight more yards before he goes down. NFL head coach, ain't nobody playing that. Second and short with Derek Johnson, the touchdown. Vulture, they say he's in. He's been a while since he had a touchdown. He feels great to be back there. Oh, I did not mean to do this, whatever. Michigan has the ball back about six and a half minutes left. A QB draw. It's stopped by Donald Gamble to make it third and short. Valley looking to get into the backfield. The quarterback tries something. He runs around. I don't know how Brandon Craig got the first down, but he somehow fought for it. Craig finding a way to keep Michigan in this game right now. A throw to the man himself. Desmond Simmons, another interception. What a legend. Desmond Simmons with an absolutely massive interception, extending the already incredible record he has here at Cascade Valley. This was the clubhouse leader and then some.
Read out here again. Hits him with a play action. Sees his guy deep. He throws one up. Jeremiah Butler has him by some steps, and he's in there. Uh, they're not trading Mac because they just restructured him. Michigan had the ball, didn't really do much with it. So with an 18 point lead and four and a half minutes left here in the first half, Cascade Valley is out here trying to make more happen and Tyrell Brown continues to kill it. Sits here looking for something. Sees the guy down the sideline. He finds Michael Isaacs. Isaacs is trying to go all the way down, and Michigan is getting cooked right now. for Michigan. Trying to let them get some yards. Okay. After their last drive is lackluster, they come down the field and Michigan is now in field goal territory trying to make something officially happen here. Crank throws another dot here. This time Anderson gets 17. Dark Tau, you realize that the NFL went with EA. 2K bid just as much money for that deal, but the NFL was mad that 2K cheapened their product by offering it for $20 without NFL approval, right? Don't be mad at anybody but 2K. Here we go again, Craig. All the time in the real, no real pressure. I'm throws a comeback route here. We're going to see them get down to the five. Uh, the plan is to bring him to uh, CFB 25. First and goal, Michigan looking for a run. They scored last time that way, and they're down at the one. And the tight end in motion, a little halfback toss here. Our guys trying to get to the edge. Reggie Kraft bumps on, but it's not going to be enough as Benda gets in the end zone yet again. Thirty-five seventeen lead here in the first half. We've got an opportunity to put more points on the board, but we got to strike fast. Reed all day throws one. Carno Killens gets one, breaks the tackle. Only person in front of him that could possibly stop him is maybe. Never mind, that speed was not there. Say what you will about uh, Taylor Reed, but he's got four touchdown passes. One interception obviously does hurt us a little bit, but four touchdown passes in the first half of the college football championship or college football semifinal is incredible. Second and seven here. A lot of time. Doesn't like what he's seen. Comes back, throws one to Jay Boehm, who's going to fight for his bread and get the first. Dark, would you have been mad if, I mean, hear me out. You're annoyed at all those people, but like 2K cheapened their product, ruined their relationship with the NFL. 2K also has the most aggressive microtransactions of any sports game. Um, as well. So would you really have been happy with the 2K based football product? Because come on now. 
first half is winding down. Reed taking his time, throws one right off 54's chest. Second and goal, 35 on the clock. We don't want to give them too much time, so we're going to run one with Tyrell Brown down to about the two-yard line. Uh, semi-final board. Clock ticking down here in third and goal. Little halfback toss. Roderick Johnson, not Tyro Brown, will get his second rushing touchdown of the game. Michigan trying to get something going here in the second half. They're down to about the 15 yard line. Ah, uh, yes, Rodrigo. You might not have been here when I said it about two minutes ago, but yes. Assuming 2K has created team. Second and 10 here, a little halfback toss, trying to get our guys to the edge. Donnell Gamble is able to wrap up and Benda, and they bring him down for nothing. best to get a stop here in third and ten what a stop by desmond simmons getting the deflection dark you realize that ea didn't go to the nfl and say hey we want to corner the market the nfl says we have an exclusive license show us what your vision is all right big fourth and ten here casca valley trying to stop a field goal potentially for michigan michigan is trying to chip into that lead which is already feeling pretty insurmountable so, Dark, you're mad at companies without realizing that the NFL went to the companies and said, give us your best pitch for what you would do with an exclusive license and why it would make sense for you. That's what happened. Be mad at the NFL. Every company that had an opportunity to pitch, pitched. I'm pretty happy with him, uh, B Shop. I want more help in the secondary and a receiver, though. That hydrate was for you, Andromeda. Kicking things off, our first play here, the second half, and it goes for nothing. Second to 12, Carnell Killens. Getting him active here in the run game. He tries to turn up the field and only goes for one. Craziest offseason move so far. I don't know if there has been one, honestly. Uh, Josh Jacobs to the Packers. Maybe surprised me, but nothing's really been like crazy, crazy. Third down and 11, Reed. Knows he needs something here. Sees this guy, Jay Boehm, toe tap on the sideline for a big 18-yard grab. Saquon of the Eagles wasn't surprising to me because it, you know, there were rumors. Jay Boehm slides in motion here, trying to fake a little jet sweep. Tyro Brown again, solid run, nothing crazy though. Your favorite players in Cascade Valley history, who would it be? That's a good question. Mm, I don't know. I got to think on that one. There's a lot of good ones. Second out, nine yards to go. Jay Boom is going to get his third grab of the game on a 23 yarder. You still get a chance to hoop? I tore my Achilles in January. I currently wear a boot. I won't be able to play basketball again for a long time. 
Ah, uh, very excited, Deco. But I can't be. Ex I can't give a like qualitative answer for how excited I am until I see the features. Keeping this drive moving, Tyro Brown kind of stumbles around a little bit, runs into his own guys, and goes nowhere. Chat, if you guys are watching on YouTube, hit that like button. We're 24. Love to get to 50. Appreciate you guys for hitting it, though. Read under center. Looking for something. Has one, and it's Jeremiah Butler, who's going to be down at the six-yard line after a hard hit from the safety. Feeling the pressure, throws an absolute dot to Carnell Killens. I appreciate it, Andre. I posted on my like Instagram and Facebook page and stuff. Um, so if you guys follow there, I, I kind of update. I just posted another video of me shooting in the walking boot. So but I appreciate it. Keeping the pressure on Michigan, they throw a nice little corner around here. DJ Byers, who's been great today, can't quite bring him down, but Travion Wilson does. Yeah, May is when we can expect uh, information to start dropping. They'll probably do like a cadence campaign. The rumored release date is July 12th. Second is short, looks like a pass with a halfback screen, and he throws it away. Pressure again is coming on. Craig is going to find a way to move down the field, and Brandon Craig has been lethal with his legs today. Hey, appreciate that a ton, Bryce. Thanks a lot, man. I've got uh, MLB The Show obviously drops tonight at midnight, so I'll be doing, uh, well, early access does. So I'll be doing some MLB The Show, probably streaming it on YouTube as well tomorrow. Doing our best to try to get to the quarterback. Craig sees the pressure and throws it away again. <laughs> oh, man. Doc's comments. What's up, Doc? Craig by himself in the backfield knows he needs a big conversion here. They're going to slide a guy over one more time. Gambler doing his best to get some pressure, but it's Odiari up the middle. Big play. Huge play here. Michigan knows they need something major. Dino gambling there. DJ Byer says that's mine. He's going to pick this one off, trying to get a little bit of a return, but he still gets some. Chad, if I brought back a sports podcast, would you guys listen? I'm thinking about doing all these questions I get. I'm like, bro, I need to just do the podcast. First and 10 again. Again, Michigan. Lace struggling, as the French say. Read a lot of time. Throws one that was almost picked off. Second and 10. Jay Bohm slides in motion here. Big opportunity for Bohm to go get some yards. Jay Bohm out here skirting around a little bit for a 15 yard rush. You think what died? What died? Is Twitch tripping? Stream didn't crash. Reed has been absolutely cooking today with the exception of a couple of poor plays. He has just been unbelievable. And Carnell Killens, what a grab. 
Oh, like the stream didn't. Oh, it must be a Twitch thing. Yeah, I've been dropping frames, so. Or have I? No, I haven't. Back here to the run game. Jay Bomb been running into his own guys a lot in this second half. You're good, Demonic. You're good. Yeah, I'm. I've been leaning toward what I, the question I asked. I don't know if you guys probably when the stream died. Should I bring back the uh, the podcast? I feel like I should. Third down is short. Isaacs here in the backfield. An absolute beautiful ball thrown, but what a play by the safety. If it's a bullet pass, it's probably a touchdown. So the third quarter dwindles down. We're lining up for a field goal here. This one is up. It is absolutely good. That's why we got the best kicker in the nation, baby. I think you should put two games per video you make out. No, thank you. If the views were maybe a little crazier, I might, but I don't know. Maybe with a new college football, but with this, I'm still sticking with one per video. I, if I put out a 15 minute video, the average watch time is like nine minutes, which for YouTube is incredible. It's incredible. But yeah. Craig all the time in the world. Lopez trying to get to him, but what a dot thrown here to Walker. Wait, did Twitch die again? I don't, no one's over there. Well, we dropped massive viewership on Twitch. What the heck? Craig again, looking for something. Beautiful ball here, Roma. What a way to knock that one loose. And what is going on in Twitch right now? Craig by himself in the backfield. Overloading the pressure. He throws one away again. He's made some really poor decisions as of late. Yeah, we dropped like 40 people on Twitch. There must have been a massive issue. Ooh, just trying to straighten my leg. Yeah, I see, I see yourself in drama, boy. 30 seconds left in a dream. A ball thrown that maybe could have been intercepted, but Michigan lives a fight for another down. I might uh, wait to play the national title game just because I might be running too close to my uh, cutoff. I have to get my daughter from the bus. Michigan in, just trying to make this respectable at this point. Our coverage kind of chalks at the moment, and they get another first. Here we go. Last play here, the third. Halfback screen dialed up. Beautiful play call. Our guys are all over the field, not where they should have been. Looks to get something here, but what a tackle by Donnell Gamblin. Our guys slide up to bring the pressure. Another run out of the backfield. This is a wild decision here by Michigan. Hey, what's up, Sergio? Harrison Gabendis had a pretty solid game by most accounts, but he's only up to about single digit yardage. What a dot to Giovanni King.
I mean, it should have been a pick, but, you know. That was a challenge. Now, there is going to be a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, you only need one foot down in college. This, to me, looks like he got one foot down. I mean, I think he got two in end zone. I, I think that one's fine. Makes sense. At this point of the game, our goal is just to run the score up a little bit. I mean, Michigan is a team that we obviously don't love. We play them a lot in our Big Ten matchups. We were over there for a while, but Tyrell Brown says, hold on, I had 90 yards earlier. I'm going to go ahead and add a whole lot of yards to that. That's why he won the Heisman. Michigan pretty much getting embarrassed, outclassed, proving that they can't really hang with us. I mean, imagine we were still in the Big Ten. We'd be doing this every season. What's up, Tane? They go with a little bit of a screen. We got guys trying to get there. Parker Heinrich can't quite get him. Odiari pushes him out of bounds, though. Our guy sending the heat, and Bender goes right up the middle and gets absolutely stuffed. Awesome. Gambling having a game, eight tackles, three for a loss. I just feel bad for him, Benda. He's got like 10 or 11 rushes for like four yards. It has been <laughs> an afternoon for that dude. A ball thrown here to Savion Shelby. Everybody. I mean, we're open right now. You'll get a pick. You'll get a pick. You'll get a pick. Casky Valley has so many guys that just didn't get an opportunity to shine during the season that are just absolutely cooking out here today. Tyrell Brown is up to 177 rushing yards on pace for 200 easily. And then some, it's just, if this dude hadn't had two touchdowns rubbed by Roderick Johnson, he would have been easily player of the game. Major shout out though to what Taylor Reed has done. A lot of criticism this season, but he has exceeded expectations today as he almost holds his third pick. Uh, we're just doing one game today, Sergio, because I have to. I got started a little bit later. I had to go to the doctor for my leg and all this other stuff. Um, so I have to get my daughter from the bus at three. I don't want to risk, you know, a tight window of time getting her. I don't want to miss, you know, getting her at the bus. Second and ten. Reed probably would have thrown a pick if you threw that one deep. Putting backups, they'll be on the next try. Four minutes has some change. Third down, 19 yards to go. Obviously, not ideal situations. And Bohm is going to get another first down for CBU. This is Reed's final year now. He's a sophomore. Uh, 
Brown still doing his best to try to hit a 200 yard mark and they're going to stop him well short of getting close to it. What time is it over there? Uh, 2 o'clock. So it's just uh, a little too close for comfort um, on that. Right back here to Reed for not getting anything in that previous drive. He gets maybe four yards. Supposed to restructure to stay in LA. Makes sense. Derek Johnson comes in, spelling out Tyrell Brown. All the room on the sideline. Johnson is ready to go, and he cuts back in just to fall down after 15. Tyrell Brown is 12 rushing yards away from 200 in a bowl game. Haven't really seen that done since Jason Barr. First live ever. What's up, Davion? This is, a, this is a short one today. This is a short one. But I should be live with some MLB The Show tomorrow as well. Maybe some franchise mode stuff. Second out, six yards to go. Or Derek Johnson pushes forward for two more yards. his first down here for the squad ladies and gentlemen he's got the first Johnson coming in a whole lot of runs now and look Michigan just has not been able to stop the run today getting absolutely gashed on the ground Here comes Cyril Brown. He's three yards to get 200 for the first time for Cascade Valley since Jason Barr. And this play is not going to be it. Really, Juan Ben? Oh my God. Who'd they sign? Brown comes in, potentially his last carry of this game, and it's a beautiful one. 200 yards rushing and counting for Tyrell Brown. The first time this happened in a bowl game in Cascade Valley history in a very long time. Oh, I know. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. Uh, so the GGBFL stopped. We're not posting any more episodes after the season three ending. That'll be the last uh, episode that gets posted on YouTube. It's just too cheesy. Everybody runs the same stuff now. Madden fatigue is in, but I've got other stuff coming. Just like that, Tyrone Brown. Nope. <laughs> nope. One of the last plays of the game is going to be Tyrell Brown taking the rock, getting in the end zone for another rushing touchdown. What an incredible season for him. And with that, Cascade Valley will move on to the College Football National Championship. Who will we play? Will it be Boise? Will it be USC? It don't matter who we play because we're coming out of there with that 4P, baby. Uh, I mean, Sergio, people don't click on videos. They don't watch. That's just as simple. Like, I don't know how else to explain that to you. It's better if you can answer that more than I can. Why don't people watch as much anymore? That's the only question the viewer can answer, not me. Recapping the stats, Taylor Reese, 16 for 21, 380 yards passing, five touchdowns and one pick. A fantastic game for him. The interception was late due to when he threw some others that were almost picked. But for the most part, he balled out. On the ground, though, Tyrell Brown, 28 for 215, two rushing touchdowns for Derrick Johnson, 42, and two touchdowns as well. And then on the receiving side, Jay Bohm, four for 68. Killens had a touchdown on 72. Butler had two touchdowns on 77 yards. McBride had one, and Isaacs had one. 
This team is absolutely cooking this time of year. You love to see it. And we move over to defense a little bit here. Donald Gamlin, eight tackles, three for a loss. Byers had a great game, especially in the first half. From a sack perspective, we had two, Odiari and Byers. Interceptions felt like Oprah today. You get one, Shelby. You get one, Simmons. You get one, Byers. You get one, Allen. These dudes came to play. If we can keep the same kind of magic going on in the national title, I don't care who we play. We're walking home with the fourth in a row, baby. We'll be seeing you. Be safe, be smart. Tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys on the next one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a screenshot real quick. YouTube, appreciate you guys. I'll be back for a... Uh, we'll be streaming live on Twitch tonight. And then uh, a YouTube stream. Next YouTube stream is tomorrow for MLB The Show. So appreciate you.